A day in the life of a plumber. Now, I get asked quite often, what's your day like? Don't get me wrong, you don't want to see me get up, shower, and shave, but I've actually had guys go around with not just me, but my plumbers, and actually shot different things that we're doing. Now, some of these, y'all may not do in your area. Some of them, you may do all the time. What I want to do is literally go in and look at what my guys are doing with a video crew behind them and kind of explain it to y'all because what we do here are things that we do every day. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing started and see what y'all think. This first video, I want you to look at the pile of dirt in the yard. Now, we specialize in slab leaks and leak detection. If you've got a plumbing problem up under your house and you're down here in Texas, chances are this is the way we're gonna do the repair. We're actually going to go in your house, do leak detection on your water line or your sewer line, then we're gonna come up with a plan, how can we tunnel under your house to get to it? A lot of people in Texas have hardwood floors, tile, different things that they really don't wanna mess up. And if there is a leak in your sewer line, do you really want somebody digging a ton of dirt up and piling it up in the middle of your living room? Now you've got not just dirt, but it's full of sewer water. So look at this pile of dirt and tell me what you think. Because as you can see, this is a big pile of dirt. That thing's about three, four feet tall. And as you can see, it's probably 20 feet long. What's happening? Look, I hate to interrupt this great video, but I wanna ask you if you're connected with me or following me on any of the other social media platforms. The reason being, we do a lot of different things over there. So if you're not, check me out over on Instagram, underscore Roger Wakefield. Check me out over on TikTok, at Roger Wakefield. Connect with me on LinkedIn, Roger Wakefield. And if you haven't seen it and if you haven't been the and if you haven't seen it, or if you have not been there, go check out our subreddit, Roger Wakefield Posts. Now, if you have not been there, go check it out because that's where we get some really cool pictures and videos from plumbers all around the world showing us the best and the worst of what they do. And if you've got some pictures or videos like that, I'd like to see it from you. Now, back to the regularly scheduled video. Now, remember the tunnel? Remember the hole y'all have seen us work down in? So you've actually heard us talk about digging tunnels and access holes. Right here, we've dug up for a two-way clean out. And then right here is where we're actually gonna go in and tunnel up under the house to make the repair. Now, a lot of people may be claustrophobic and not able to get in there, but this is something that really we do all the time. Now, I will tell you this, everybody be careful. We have a professional dig crew that comes out and digs for us. We don't just dig in by ourselves. There are stories in Texas every year about plumbers that die up under a house because the dirt collapsed. A day on the job takes a deadly turn. A plumber who had to get under a house is dead, killed in a freak accident. Because normally they got in there and dug it themselves. They wanted to save money. They don't dig it big enough. They don't dig it right. And when the dirt caves in, they're gonna get stuck up under there. That's something we never want to happen. Jack was a plumber for 15 years. He was working on a sewage line in this rain-soaked trench when it collapsed and he was killed. So think about it. Make sure you get somebody that's a professional dig crew. They can get in, get it dug out quicker and better, and you're not going to risk your life. Now, here we are. This is inside the house. And as you can see, that lead band is kind of twisted. It's pinched, but it was also leaking right here. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to replace this. Now, you're going to see my guys get in there. They're going to cut out the lead bin, get it out. They're going to go all the way back to the hub and the cast iron, clean that out. Then they're going to put in PVC and repop this. Look at this and see, this is stuff that we deal with all the time here. The lead and the brass connecting to the cast iron, sometimes there's a break there. Sometimes there's a break up at the top of the lead where the plumber installed it to the flange. Now, We've gone to houses and actually run cameras down, and you can see this is where the roots start coming in. So we knew we had a break here. We did isolation. We found out exactly where everything was. We tunneled up under to replace some of the pipe, and then we had to change out this lead bin. So cutting it out and changing it out to PVC is a great thing, and now the customer doesn't have a leak there, and they're not gonna get any roots in their sewer. Now they're pulling out the lead bin right here, do you see how that's put in? See how it's kinked and bent and has a hole in it? You can actually see the roots growing into the lead bin right there. 
This has been happening since this was installed in the very beginning. Okay, I gotta tell you, Shay did a great job. This looks clean, it looks nice. He's got it turned up where the PVC riser is as centered as we can get it there on the walls. This looked good. Now here's an Upanor repair we did. We, there was a leak on the water main going to the house. Now you see the double check assembly there. We ended up having to replace the water relay coming from the meter all the way up to the house. We teed off there for the double check assembly for the irrigation, but we did all this in Upanor. If you love Upanor, I gotta tell you, it's great for situations like this because literally it makes it go in so smooth, so easy. That's a key set. Oh, no, 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 not that. Just come on. And it's gonna forever keep trying to tighten down on the fitting. I love that. Now, as you see, we're working on gas. First of all, let me know something. If you're a plumber in here, are you allowed to work on natural gas in your area? Because in Texas, plumbers hold the license and we are actually responsible for working on gas, anything after the meter. We had to do a, a gas relay here. So what we did is from the meter to the house, we replaced that line with poly. Put in new risers, attach everything, get it inspected. We have to do a pressure test and get the customer restored with their gas. So as you see, the dig crew is giving us a hole here, opening up the concrete and making it where we can come down. What we've got is we've got a leak in the slab. So as you can see, this manifold was rebuilt with new drops going through the slab, tied down everything below, put it all back together, tested it, and the customer's good to go. Do you do repairs like this? If there's a leak under a slab on a water line, do you go through the floor? Do you open up the wall? Or do you just do a reroute overhead? Different plumbers do things different ways. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there. That's four repairs we've done. I've showed you a sewer line. I've showed you a water line replacement. I've showed you a gas line replacement and an actual water repair in the slab, up through the slab, in a wall, under a house. What kind of repairs do you do? Are these things that you do? And if you don't, which one of these was your favorite? These are things that we do every day here in Texas. Now, don't get me wrong, we work on toilets, we work on faucets, we work on disposals, we work on water heaters, but we do a little bit of everything. What kind of repairs do you do where you're at? And does it look like it's this much fun? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.